In 2013, the bulk carrier, the Nordic Orion, sailed for the first time through the Northwest Passage of the Arctic. The ice on the Arctic Ocean had melted, and for the first time in modern history, ships could set up new routes over the ice-free bodies of water. Global warming was evident. The ships that will pave their way through these ice cracks are part of an industry that in total releases 1,000 million tons of CO2 annually. And depending on the economy, this number is predicted to increase by 50 to 250 percent. As a part of the global environmental shift, we are now seeing an increasing demand for low and zero emission. Ship owners, logistic companies, yards to name a few, they all want to replace the diesel with more environmentally friendly solutions. Zero emission has become big business. And one of the technologies that we implement to make the waves from these boats greener is something that everyone in this room in most likelihood carries on them. It could be a watch, your phone, your car key, and maybe even your heart uses this technology. And that's a lithium ion battery. The lithium ion battery is so flexible in size and capacity. It can be used to power a tiny Tamagotchi. Or let's go big to propel the Rolls-Royce Arsipal thruster of a 16 gross tonnage ferry. I'd like you to meet Ampere. Ampere is the world's first fully electric car and passenger ferry. Since 2015, she has traveled a distance equals to seven times around the world. Emissions has been reduced by 85% and operating costs has been reduced by 60% compared to a conventional ferry. Norway is keeping on expanding for electrical ferries. And by 2021, we will have about 60 fully electric car and passenger ferries operating the many fjords here in Norway. That corresponds to about 15% of the total number of ferries in daily use. Ampere was promoted as a success story, despite its difficulties before and after she was launched. But the savings has been quantified through reduced maintenance, less fuel, emission savings and operating costs. Ampere is an example that shows how the future is electric. And in fact, the Risk Management and Classification Society, DNVGL, claims that electrifying ferries and installing batteries on board ferries and other vessels will have a 10 times greater environmental effect than it would have compared to electrifying Norwegian cars. But that does not mean you need to sell your Tesla. Now this is something we really should be excited about because the battery technology is developing at a very high speed. A few years ago, we did not talk about installing batteries on board the largest vessels, such as tankers and cruise vessels. But now we're starting to hybridize those as well. So just imagine where we will be in a few years time. How many vessels will then benefit from the energy storage systems with batteries? The batteries on board Ampere and other fer electric ferries like her has lithium ion batteries installed. But they look a little bit different than the one in your child's favorite toy. The batteries I'm working with have its own unique design, and they're specially designed for life at sea. We sell our systems as a flat pack, kind of the same principle as IKEA. We send the cabinets, or the packs as we call them, to the customers, and they will build them inside the vessel. There's no need for any big hatches or to cut open the hull to make it fit. Then we can install the battery modules by pushing them in, just like a drawer, as simple as that. These batteries have a lifetime of about 10 years. After 10 years, the battery capacity has reached 70% of what it was compared to beginning of life. But that does not mean that the batteries are useless after 10 years. It just cannot fulfill its purpose at sea. It could easily have a second life powering onshore applications, maybe your house. These type of batteries cannot replace fossil fuels on board 
every single vessel, unfortunately. Innovative Swedish packaging or not. But a combination of energy storage systems and another source of low or zero emission fuel is very beneficial. The other fuel could be hydrogen, liquid, natural gas or ammonia. Ampere was considered a pioneering project. And she, since she was launched, she has inspired and changed the maritime industry. The public opinion towards installing batteries on board vessels changed after the launch of this ferry. And soon it started to become a requirement to install batteries on board all Norwegian new built ferries. Technology and innovation do not come out of nowhere. We need the help from governments and industry clusters to make it a success. And another important factor is to get the public understanding and acceptance. Now, what I mean by that is that you and me need to be convinced that the technology has the right to live. We need to be assured that the technology is safe, the lifetime cycle has been taken care of, and that the environmental and social footprint are acceptable. So good news, people. The technology that will bring us towards a lower and zero emission future is here. We do not have to wait for the technology. And some of them, like the lithium ion battery, is a relatively mature technology. Others are at a more infant stage. The lithium ion batteries are one out of many technologies that will help make transport at road, air and sea emission free. The awful truth about global climate change was manifested by the Nordic Orion crossing the Northwest Passage of the Arctic. But the waves that were made by the demonstration project Ampere and other vessels like her pushed forward a technology that has proven to make a significant impact. Thank you.